So I've received an NIH New Innovator Award, which is going to give me the opportunity to use this cutting edge technology called two photon microscopy to analyze the interactions among inflammatory cells in the lungs and asthma. And asthma is a disease that is growing in prevalence worldwide and particularly affects children. So we want to look at inflammatory cells in asthma. And inflammation has been shown to be important in contributing to asthma. And we have treatments that help reduce this inflammation. But th so far, those are inadequate to really fully treat and cure asthma patients. We have lots of different inflammatory cells that accumulate in the lungs and asthma. But we don't know how these cells communicate with each other as a system to produce the disease in the lung. And a lot of these cells are found in tissues of healthy patients, yet they're not causing disease. So what's changed about the way these cells are communicating communicating with each other in asthma, in the lung. So far, most of what we looked at in the lung are static images of the lung, where we see immune cells look like little round cells that don't move. But with this type of microscopy, we can actually see the cells moving in real time. And we learned that the cells are not little round cells, but they actually have very dynamic shapes, and some of them are interacting with each other. And there's a lot of different information we can get once we can actually see these cells moving around in the tissue. So one of the things we're going to do with this technology is we want to be able to see different types of inflammatory cells in different colors. And we're going to use fluorophores, or fluorescent molecules, to be able to look at these cells. Some of the cells will be green, some will be red, some will be blue, and some will be combinations of these colors that we'll be able to see under the microscope. With conventional microscopy, we use visible light, the type of light we see all around us. And if we shine that on a sample in the microscope, that tends to cause a lot of toxicity to the tissue. And we can only get a certain depth in the tissue, and then the light gets very scattered. Here we're going to use infrared light and very fast pulses that will only excite at a focal point. So we get much less toxicity to the tissue, and we can get much deeper into the tissue. So using two-photon microscopy then, we can look at the cells deep within the tissue, within their native environment, and look at the interactions among these cells without perturbing their function. So the long-term goal of this work will be to learn new information about the cellular interactions among inflammatory cells in the lungs and asthma. And the hope would then be that we can design new treatments that target these cellular interactions and change them in a way that produces a healthy lung.